the week that was. Do a little recap here, looking back at the week and talking about kind of some lessons, some things to focus on for next week, and uh, just kind of breaking down some of the moves over the last week and thinking about what I could have done differently and how I could have managed some trades a little different and all that fun stuff. So let's break it down. Going back to Monday, September 9th, we had the opening range, 15 minute opening range. We had the VWAP down there, that blue line. So we had the 15 minute open a range. We broke to the upside. This is kind of a wild price action day because we broke to the upside here. We ran up about what, 30, 40, 50 points. And then we dumped all the way back down. And I talked about this on a live stream. Something that I have noticed in the past is if we break back through that 15 minute range, meaning like this is the middle of the 15 minute range. So we're kind of like, we don't really want to break through that middle once we break to the upside. So once this big old red candle came in there and we broke through that, we had the VWAP down here. It was kind of like, hey, you know, if we start to sell down here, there's a very good chance that we then break through the 15 minute opening range to the downside. And you can see from the 600s, you got about 120 point move back down from there to the lows. And and then look at this again kind of pushing up there through the middle of that 15 minute range getting back above the VWAP so from the 644s up there to the 720s to take out this high again and then by the end of the day we broke to the downside once again so the 15 minute opening range very much like the uh, middle of the road there on Monday and it was a good lesson right good lesson to kind of just be patient and wait for the right setup to come along like I said you know, going back to Monday now, looking at it again, kind of reiterating the fact that if we break the 15 minute opening range to the upside and then we come all the way back down, we then fill, you know, take out that whole 15 minute opening range and then we get that break the downside. That's obviously kind of showing that there is selling momentum. We have momentum to kind of push through that range. And then we kind of took out the London low. The London low was right here at the 567. So we took out the London low there, and then we took out the Asian low, and then we kind of just moved right on down there and then back up. So something to think about. If the 15 minute range breaks the upside and then they totally just come back and go all the way back through the 15 minute opening range, like I said, very good possibility that there's gonna be continuation momentum to the downside there. And uh, as you can see, kind of perfectly played out there. So. Now, skipping over here, again, you can see the overnight, kind of look at these overnight moves. You had kind of a downtrend overnight. We pushed up here into open. We pushed up into open, and then look at these 15-minute candles. Just absolutely nasty, nasty, nasty. And, and when I say nasty, it's literally wick, wick, wick. I mean, doji, doji, this nasty, nasty, nasty. And then we break the downside there at 12, and look at that. We What do we do? We held the London london low there so we held the london low once we see that we're like uh-oh are we gonna push all the way back up here and get back through the 15 minute opening range again uh-oh uh-oh we did we then push back above this we get back above the vwap we're back into that 15 minute range back into that middle that middle of that 15 minute range there 750 area Look at how we kind of bull flag right there, 15 minute chart, we bull flag, we push up, we break to the upside. So there's about another 100 points. So very, very choppy mornings, I feel like. These opening mornings, again here on Wednesday, 15 minute opening range, kind of the same thing every day. We're looking at here, 8.30. So here's our opening 15 minute candle. We break to the downside beautifully, All right? We had our 15 minute candle. We break to the downside there. We turn it into resistance. We move down about 200 points. And then guess what? We then push back up into the middle of that 15 minute opening range, the 930 candle, find the middle of that. And look what happens. We break to the upside. We turn it into support. We get the bull flag and we start to break out. Now we push up 400 points. I mean, that's crazy from the 500s up there to the 200. So over 700 points on that move back up. And again, it's like 15 minute opening range. Okay, look, we're getting through the middle of that. We're reversing. Momentum is on our side. And you can see, again, kind of that 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock reversal here. Yeah, 11 o'clock reversal. 
and the market just going absolutely to the moon there and just trending, 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 trending higher all the way into close there on Wednesday. So the big dip and then the big, 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 big rip to the upside. But again, what happened? We broke the 15 minute range to the downside. We got back into the middle of that 15 minute range. We then pushed through the middle of it. And you can see after pushing through the middle, even breaking back through the opening range there, that 900 level, that's still over 300 points to the upside there on that move with just that 15 minute range play, uh, you know, kind of as our focus again, another 15 minute range kind of set up. We get the open here, that 930 candle. We got our 15 minute range. We had a little bit of numbers there on Thursday. We then start to push up through there up to the 368. So about 70 points to the upside. We kind of chop, we chop. But what's interesting is look, look at this. This is uh, again, very interesting, right? So you find the middle of that 15 minute opening range. Where's the middle of that 15 minute range? Right there in the middle of, uh, you know, 50 opening range, but, 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 and well, look what happens. We get below the VWAP here. We turn that area into support and then another big push after kind of testing that opening range. We did not break to the downside, breaking that 15 minute range to the downside. We didn't see same thing here. When we broke the 15 minute range to the downside, we then get back above the middle of that 15 minute range turns into support. And you can see about a hundred point move right there alone. So again, what happened? You know, we broke the 15 minute range. We get back to that middle and then we got that shot up. So kind of played out, you know, very much like we've been kind of seeing, you know, if you got your 15 minute range, let's just say you got your 15 minute range, do, 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 do right there. Okay. First candles open. Here's your first candle. We kind of break to the upside. We get here, we find the middle and then we move down and then we move back to the middle and then we move back up. So that middle, that 15 minute opening range, I'm telling you, it might not be, you know, the end all be all, but this last week, it was very much playing out that way. So I'm interested to see how that plays out next week. Again, here on Friday, this 15 minute opening range, man, the chop is insane sometimes. We had the 930 candle, big range there on the 930 candle, over 100 points. Well, guess what happens? We break to the upside, but guess what? We couldn't get below that 15 minute opening range. We just couldn't do it. So no reason to get short there. The middle of that 15 minute range acting as support. We break to the upside and kind of just chopped around there, got back above the VWAP, kind of formed a bull flag. We took this trade live on YouTube there on Friday power hour. And this idea of kind of identifying that 15 minute trend there, bouncing off that 19,500 end of day, about a 50 point push back up. So 15 minute range right now is very much like my big focus in terms of looking at the price action. Are we above the 15 minute range? Are we below it? Are we in the middle? How is the price reacting to that 15 minute opening range? I keep saying it, I keep saying it. You're like, you already said it. Yes, I know. But that's kind of what I'm also going through right now. I'm like, Patrick, be very aware of what is happening with that 15 minute range, no matter what time it is. If it's, is it later in the day? Is it, you know, in the morning? What time is it? If I'm trading power hour, well, guess what? I'm going to be looking at that 15 minute opening candle to see, is that acting as support? Are we violating the middle of that 15 minute opening or what, you know, what is going on there? And again, that's kind of why I thought there was a long opportunity there on the end of day Friday. As we're holding the view up, we're holding that 15 minute opening range. And even at the end of day, that 15 minute opening range kind of in play there, tapping, tapping. So big moral of the, of the week, like always, the VWAP, the pivot points. This is all stuff that we talk about in the course that's for sale right now. It's $199. If you guys are interested, it's real, you know, I don't know. It's 200 bucks. You can learn kind of all this stuff, break it all down for you. It's a good time to do it. It's the weekend, but really right now for me, I'm just trying to really kind of like perfect, you know, my thought process when it comes to that 15 minute opening range. Like what, what is the market doing? Is it reacting to the middle of it? Is it kind of violating it? Are we going to reverse and just kind of being very aware of that range? So that way I'm in the right mindset. So if I do have a trade come up, instead of looking at it like, okay, this is a bear flag. I'm like, no, no, no. 
you know, this is a possible bull flag or possible kind of spot to bounce at. I had a lot of people in the chat who were like, hey, this looks like a bear flag. It's going to break the downside. I'm like, well, actually, we got the VWAP. We got the 15-minute opening range. I think there's a better chance that we break to the upside here, and that's exactly what we did. So we ended up breaking to the upside. You can see, you know, they did kind of get this back down after close, back to that 500 level. So kind of a bear flag there, kind of breaking the downside. But, you know, in general, knowing that that VWAP was there, knowing that that 15-minute range was there saved me from getting short here because I got long because I was like, doo -doo -doo, I'm looking for that move up, not for this move down because the VWAP's there. So, again, VWAP, pivot point. 15 minute opening range. What could I do better? Just being more patient. Wait for those opportunities where you see the trade and you're like, man, this is really getting good. And like, it's a really like good setup. I see everything lining up. We got the VWAP, we got all these things lining up. The more things that are lining up, the better. So if I go back over the week and I look at where I had issues or I look at where I you know, might have lost a couple accounts or, or vice versa and, and all that stuff, it really comes down to just me not being patient, me not focusing on things like we talked about here in this video. Removing a lot of that emotion, removing that like thought that that thought in your brain that you have to enter every little move in the market, like you gotta get rid of that, you gotta get focused on the idea that I'm waiting for those primo, primo setups, Patrick. We are waiting for the setups where we're like, oh my God, look at that, it is so good, I gotta, I gotta get in on it. So again, patience. VWAP, 15 minute opening range, trade the pivots, look for opportunities, be patient, make the money, tune in 9 a.m. live right here on YouTube, my friends. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, you know what to do. Peace to the middle. E.